Detroit and Arizona meet on a Saturday night. We have a Smart Money Play next. Tony T here from Gamblers Television, covering Major League Baseball Vegas style each and every single day. Now, Gamblers Television is brought to you by Vegas.com, the official Vegas travel site. Visit Vegas.com. All right, now it's time for our coverage from Major League Baseball. It's Detroit Galarraga at Arizona Scherzer, 8.05 p.m. Eastern Time, MLB pay per to televise. Now, it looked like the Tigers had turned the corner, hovering around 500 near the top of the AL Central, but another bad spell as the Tigers drop 9 of 11, and they find themselves 16 and 24 and five games back through 40 games. Now, the Tigers scored two runs or less in seven of those 11 contests. Now, Galarraga is slated for a return to AAA when Don Trevor Willis is back from the DL, which looks like as early as next week. Now, manager Jim Leland has been happy with his youngster because he throws strikes and he doesn't allow base runners. Now, in five starts this season, Galarraga sports an ERA of 3.07 and an impressive whip of under a run. Now, whip measures walks and hits per inning pitched, and the lower the better, which results in fewer bigger innings given up by pitchers. Max Scherzer is on the hill for the D-backs and pitched well in his second career start, limiting the Cubs to only five hits and one under and run over six innings. Now, he got over the jitters of his first career start and got ahead of hitters at Wrigley. Now, look, we have two starters who throw strikes and they sport low whips plus a tiger offense that is struggling that makes the play on the under very attractive play under nine runs be sure to visit and bookmark my television show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous major league baseball coverage for gamblers gamblers television get addicted